Hello everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's pick a card or more likely a pick a flower type of video because yes, this is going to be a little bit different but really interesting and unique. So for today's theme, we are going to find out any messages that your special person or your soulmate or your twin flame have for you. So whether you have a specific person in mind or not, it doesn't matter and whether you are watching this before Valentine's Day or not doesn't matter because this message is timeless so it's just still going to be relevant and talking about getting messages from your soulmate or twin flame I know that a lot of us you know want to know more about our soulmate want to know more about our twin flame journey so if you're interested in those type of topics I have another channel at Amorinet where I share a lot of my painting process videos while I also share a lot of great informative tips and advices of spiritual topics, personal growth, and law of attraction as well. And just before, I actually created a special video about law of attraction tips about who you should manifest. Is it your soulmate, your twin flame, and some bit of warnings as well because you know sometimes you gotta be careful what you wish for so in that video I share a lot of great tips and informative advices as well and information so if you would like you can always go ahead and check it out the link is here in the video or down below and you can always connect with me personally on my Instagram at amorinet and if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, all complete information is down below as well so you make sure to read everything. So let's get on to the reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment as well. Hello everyone. Okay, so I am super excited because I want to try something a bit different from how I usually do my pick a card reading. So instead of picking cards, we are going to pick either this flower and I will be using like the main definition tool. We are going to be using this tiny notes that I have been collecting for over the past few months. We will be using this crystals as well to read into the energy. And lastly, I will still be using this sexual magic tarot card as always, and I am going to shuffle it live. But the main tool is going to be the crystals and the tiny notes. So take a time to take a breath and meditate upon the question. What messages or whatever it is that your person wants to say to you? Think of your specific person, focus on them, and listen to your own intuition and pick whichever flower or flowers calls to you the most. This is flower number one, flower number two, and flower number three. You can just pause this video and pick. Okay, so for the first flower, let's just shuffle in, okay? As I am shuffling this uh, tiny cards or <laughs> notes or whatever you want to call them, focus on your person, focus on your person. And also, I almost forgot to say, if you don't have anyone specific, you can just focus on the question, what does my soulmate want to tell me or what does my twin flame want to tell me whatever it is whoever whatever label or terms that you use just focus on the question at hand what important messages that they want to tell you or any expressions or feelings what is it what is it that your special person or soulmate want to tell to all of my audience who pick the first flower I'm already hearing somebody wants to tell you I'm sorry like they're really sorry for leaving you behind or leaving you hanging be like behind somebody left you out in the cold probably about three or five years ago for some of you and they're really really sorry of it and they're very regretful and they want to make a comeback into your life but they're not really sure if you would accept them back or not and for some of them they might want to come back in Valentine's Day and make a surprise for you for some of you who are in a situation with a crush 
I do feel that you are going to have some type of communication with that person. Now, I rarely ever channel into zodiac signs, but I am getting Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Gemini. So maybe you are the one who has any of this zodiac, or maybe your person of interest have this zodiac. So we have a few bunch of tiny notes already. The first one, will you go out with me? I really miss you so, so much, but I'm scared. I fume when I see other people around you. I want you to want me and I need you to need me. I count each day and night until I can see you again, my love. I fight anyone that gets in my way. I really want to write a song for you about you only. I know I'm toxic to you, but I can't help wanting you in my life. Yeah, I do stalk your social media, but I will never admit that. I want to open up to you, trust me, but just not now. Can we be like this forever? I don't want to lose this connection ever. Loyalty and honor. I want you to pay attention to me and only me. I have a dark side I like to show to you. You're so fucking hot, you make me so horny. <laughs> you are too good for me. I don't feel worthy enough. I am so confused and I feel stuck now. I cry almost every night. My heart burns fiercely for you, always and forever. You are the world to me and I want you to be mine. Wow, a lot of messages, but they all kind of like connect to each other. So yeah, like I said, th this, oh, oh my gosh, so many tiny notes here. This whole message basically confirmed of what I just said about that person wanting to come back to your life, but they feel a lot of regret of whatever that they did to you in the past or in the recent past. Now, if you are actually in quite a good terms with this person, they are just dealing with some type of anxiety and insecurity. That is why they haven't been really that honest or open about how they truly feel towards you. So, like I said, if you are specifically in a situation with a crush, I do feel that they really want to come forward with you, especially if you are watching this before Valentine's Day, that could come up. But then again, this whole reading is timeless. So where, wherever, whenever you are watching this, this message will still be relevant. But if you're watching this before Valentine's, then maybe, who knows, it, it might as well come up. Because I do see this person they just don't want to lose any more chance with you because they know that they already lost quite a lot of chances with you before and they don't want to lose that chance anymore. They don't want to lose you anymore. So for some of you who are in an on and off cold communication situation with this person they definitely want to reach out to you they want to open up to you and they want to do more effort to show you that they really do care that they really do want to commit to you but they also want to expect that you can still accept them back and that you are willing to trust them again and give them at least that one last chance and they are really willing to fight to prove that you know to prove themselves to you because you are their world you are their soulmate and for some of you maybe this is a twin flame journey but for the majority of you i'm sensing that the energy is mostly about a powerful soulmate connection if you haven't hang up uh, uh, if you haven't hang out or seen this person face to face for quite a long time they really miss you like a damn lot they really really do miss you they keep counting every day and every night until you can 
meet again until you can hang out with them again or until that you talk to them again because for some of you this person expect that you would talk to them or at least say hi to them but they know that you are damn pissed at them you're you're still annoyed at them but they still truly wish that you would say hi at least but they know that they the one who needs to make the effort now they know that it's their time it's their role right now to take charge and to be responsible of whatever it is that they did to you or maybe they said to you and just apologize and make things right to straighten up things and they know they are aware and maturing that okay i realize this is what i gotta do this is what i gotta fix and that's what they really want to do so there's definitely a lot of feelings here involved whether it's a crush or a long time friend that you know or a soulmate that you know whether this person is pretty new or not there is definitely feelings involved here because even if you are asking about somebody that you kind of just know and you kind of just start to hang out with this person or that maybe you already feel the spark of spiritual connection this is definitely a spiritual connection there there's definitely lessons here between you and that person could be some type of unfinished karma as well that you need to release but for the majority of you this is a soulmate connection so the spiritual energy here is is pretty deep it's pretty intense so this is not a coincidence that you just meet this person or you just you know really uh, you know get to know or i mean wanting to get to know this person and really attracted towards this person and that's the same for them as well it's not a coincidence that they really is into you this person is really into you but there's just a lot of stressful and dark energy here more like anxiety insecurities and maybe for some of you either you or that person is dealing with some type of mental uh, illness condition as well maybe depression for example or bipolar for some of you that's what i'm getting so i'm really sorry if you are dealing with that because i myself am dealing with mental illness as well so i know how hard that can be really really difficult this person that you're dealing with they're very complicated they're literal onions with a lot of freaking layers but they know that they need to open up to you in order for you to accept them back if not you're not going to trust them and they know that they're very damn well aware you are not going to accept them back if they are not communicating properly or openly okay so we have Let's take a look. The first card we have is the seven of wands. Yeah, this person wants to work on themselves first so that they can let go of any insecurities or anxiety that they have been dealing with, especially their bad behavior or attitude in the past. Because this person might act a little bit manipulative towards you, not because that they are toxic, manipulative person, they were very much in their ego or they were very much in their fear that they didn't realize they were treating you in some ways that is just not nice or that you know like they didn't mean to manipulate you or to create drama in your life they just truly didn't mean to they were definitely in that immature energy but right now they are leveling up basically and they want to come back to you so with the number seven that can be something very significant to you and this person really wish that you would listen to them and accept their offer by the time that they come back to your life and with this card four of swords this is definitely clear communication could be a little bit straightforward as well so maybe when this person comes to you or confess to you it might come out of the blue or just a little bit surprising to you now for some this person might as well be a creative person maybe they're a musician or a singer because we do have here where is it like there was this one yeah this one note i really want to write a song for you about you only and this card symbolized a man that wanting to open this this lady's mouth and that kind of represents the voice you know expression music so maybe this person 
would want to express their feelings through music either they send you a playlist or a music or that they are a singer themselves and they want to sing a song for you and you might not expect that coming <laughs> so they truly respect you and see you for who you really are as the high priestess damn you have really really good uh, intuition maybe you do practice some type of witchcraft or law of attraction or any type of spiritual practice and and you definitely know what's up you definitely know what's going on with this person and what i'm seeing one of the reason why you may be cutting off this person it's because of their manipulative or sneaky behavior with this lizard here and you cut them off so straightforward without even giving them like facts but just using your intuition you 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 basically you just cut them so suddenly that they were in shook of how freaking damn accurate you were so for example you you confronted them and you told them like hey I know that you've been stalking me or I know that you've been stalking my social media or maybe hey I know that your friends have been stalking me as well because here we do have this message yeah I do stalk your social media but I ain't ever admitting that so maybe the moment that you confronted this person of whatever it is that they did like some sneaky or manipulative behavior they deny it they act really childish and they would even put the blame on you but then you're like nah -uh. you you cannot fool me you can not fool me and they're like what the actual fuck they legit were so shook that they took a step back and that could as well be one of the main reasons why the communication has been like really off between you both because this person finally accept and believe that wow you really are this high priestess and this whole magic intuition type of thing it's legit it's not some woo woo bullshit type of thing it's legit and they're really starting to see you who you really are and maybe even they're experiencing some type of spiritual awakening as well so that is what I am getting so far. Now, last but not least, I would want to use these crystals to further read into their energy. So they definitely want to, you know, tell you how they really feel. Basically, that they love you, that they care a lot about you, and that they want to, you know, give you more effort. They want to show it. They don't, they just don't want to say it. They want to show it, okay? So... I am trying this something uh, completely new. I've never tried this before. And that is using this crystal. So this rose quartz, rose quartz will be representing your person and their heart, okay? Their truth. This would represent any hidden truth, secrets, or mysteries that they have. And this would represent their more of their honesty and clear straightforward communication so i am just going to like shuffle it like this and read it this way ah uh, yeah this person as you can see here the the crystal that is surrounding this person more is the dark one so remember that there was this also one tiny note that says i want to show you my dark side so this person is willing to show their dark side a little bit more but at least you know in a step by step because they still need to build that trust they do have anxiety they have insecurities they have trust issues so one of the reasons why they haven't been really clear towards you it's because they are dealing with their own trust issue as well and they realize that they have been doing these sneaky things towards you these manipulative things towards you and they also realize that they haven't been truly completely honest about who they really are maybe they told you some things that they did maybe they told you some things that 
maybe like some stories about their life it's uh, it's kind of like half truth half not or maybe they're just not explaining you the whole entire story just yet they know that they have been keeping some type of truth here they feel really guilty they do want to reach out to you though but they still feel that this honest and open communication is still going to take some time because they are overthinking it that you would not accept them so if you are still you know then again it really depends on you but if you want to say hi first to this person i think that it would actually help this connection to go forward because i feel like this person needs some type of validation no sorry not validation more correctly is um confirmation they need obvious clear confirmation that if they would communicate with you you would listen to them Be this is crazy because like you know it's kind of sad and when i'm really channeling into their energy i feel a lot of words stuck in my throat they're so scared that you would reject them they they definitely have fear of rejection so it's up to you like i said if you want to say hi to this person first if you want to communicate to them first just to trigger that communication to happen i do see that they would accept it as a confirmation that you are you're still there for them that you still care about them and that you're you're still willing to talk to them and that's when you're like hey you know what let's meet up let's talk whatever but i see that for the majority of you you're the one who needs to kind of trigger that communication first to happen okay so that is for you the reading for you pile number one and i will see you soon okay moving on to pile not pile actually flower <laughs> flower number two so we are going to start with this tiny notes so flower number two flower number two what is it that your special person or soulmate or twin flame have to say to you or want to show you or want to do for you as I am shuffling this, I also want you to focus on your person. If you don't have anyone in particular, you can just focus on the question, what messages that my soulmate wants to give to me? Or what do they want to do with me? What is it that they want to do for me? Anything, like literally anything, any type of messages. Soulmate, twin flame, whatever labels or terms that you use. Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> there was this like one tiny note that just flew to the floor. So, what more? Is there anything more? There's, ooh, there's definitely a lot of things this person want to say to you. Are you serious this many i mean last the the last flower they also receive a lot of damn message okay there we go so we have a bunch of notes here the first one oh you're my soulmate so this person definitely thinks believe or want to say to you that hey i think you're my soulmate and i feel that we are meant to be together and that maybe we should give this relationship a try so when i am channeling into the energy i feel that for the majority of you watching this you are not in a relationship just yet with this person or if you don't have anyone in specific then maybe you're single and there is a secret admirer they'll want to tell you that hey I have been spying on you i have i know it sounds creepy but i have been spying on you and i have been learning a lot of spiritual lessons as well and i'm starting to believe that maybe we are meant to be together so we have i wish for us to go on a nice trip together somewhere romantic Ooh. 
I don't like it if you flirt around. Ugh. <laughs> I want to open up to you, trust me, but just not now. Will you go out with me? I want you to want me and I need you to need me. I fume when I see you with other people around. You are the world to me and I want you to be mine. Yeah, I do stalk your social media, but I ain't ever admitting that. Wow, so a few of these tiny notes is a little bit similar. No, actually we received some of the same exact notes from the previous flower, only a few of them. So this energy, this spying, stalking energy, yeah, it's very similar to the first one. And also the energy of this person wants to come forward to you, wants to confess to you about how they truly feel. And they also want to ask you out on a date because here we have, I wish for us to go on a nice trip together somewhere romantic and will you go out with me? So they have been either planning or daydreaming about going on a date with you. There is a bit of an obsession or codependency energy that I am sensing here, a little bit similar as well to the first flower. So this person have some bit of jealousy issue as well. So I think like every time they stalk your social media, they're like spying on you. They wonder if you are dating around other people as well or that you are close with somebody else and they're jealous. And if you actually often hang out with this person, this specific person that you're asking about, maybe you often go to the same place or you just often see them or at like a group event or basically somewhere that you often pass each other by, this person is definitely keeping their eye on you. And they really hate it whenever other people is flirting around with you or the ID that you are close with somebody else. Then again, maybe you are actually doing it or maybe this is just them overthinking because of their fear and ego, anxiety and whatnot. But they definitely hold a lot of great emotions and feeling towards you. They do have trust issue though. That is also something that is similar to the previous flower because yeah, this, you know, this is kind of interesting because so far the type of energy that I am connecting for this second flower is quite similar to the previous one. It's almost like a continuation reading, but the difference here is that this person is definitely much more confident than the previous one. This person is already willing to confess to you and ask you out on a date, or maybe to ask you out on a nice trip, a nice dinner, honeymoon maybe. So this person is already on the process of acting it out or that they are already planning it. If you are watching this before Valentine's Day, then well, we'll see whatever comes up, right? But then again, this reading is always timeless. No matter when or where you are watching this, it's still going to be relevant, okay? Time and space doesn't matter to the universe. But if you have been expecting something to come up for Valentine's, this could be a sign. So we have, I wanna hook up with you, but I'm scared to catch on feelings. Wow, so for some of you, let me know down below in the comments, did you meet this person from an online dating app? <laughs> because if so, that could be the issue. They're starting to already catch feelings for you. If not, this can represent a friend. Wow, another note that is the same one from the previous flower. I fight anyone that gets in my way. This person has a um, quite a strong Capricorn and Leo energy. I, I rarely read into zodiacs, but recently I have been getting a little bit more into astrology and learning more about the connections between zodiac signs and tarot readings or any type of divination reading as well. And for, for quite a lot of you, your person might as well be a Leo or a Capricorn. They're stubborn. like. It, you know, in a good way, they can very, very much put laser focus on what they want and really go after it. 
but the annoying thing is like when they're stubborn they're really stubborn about their ego about their pride and it's kind of hard to work together with them because like oh this is my way this is what i want you know something like that so they can act a little bit immature or arrogant sometimes but that's not who they really are that's just like part of their ego then again this can mean that either you're a capricorn or a leo or the person you are inquiring about is a capricorn or a leo or that they just hold that type of energy around them so we have do not procrastinate do not delay reach for your success now wow such a capricorn energy they definitely want to reach more success or financial gain because they want stability in their life especially now that they have their eye on you they feel that they have the responsibility to give you things to provide for you to take you out on a nice trip to take you out on a nice date and it's all about you know financial situation right and confident and stability so this is what they are doing right now while they are planning things really great things to offer it to you oh, oh my <laughs> This is a very sexual energy uh, message. It says, I want to taste your cum and I want you to taste mine. This person has a very heavy sexual chemistry and attraction towards you. Like, damn, they definitely really want to fuck you real hard. So we have we are here guiding you every step of the way you are a star seed now this is a special message from your spirit guides to you my dear lovely viewers is that whatever is going on between you and this person this is a soulmate connection and it is being guided and directed by your spirit guides because maybe you are actually meant to meet this person to do some type of soul mission or life mission together to create something i feel a lot of energy of building something together with this person you are too good for me i don't feel worthy enough they're definitely working on their self-confidence it could be based on their looks maybe they're going to the gym or maybe it's about their lifestyle about their diet or this could also mean about their financial situation because they really need to boost their self-confidence in order for them to feel like they are on the same level as you are so this person they may actually be already successful or really you know fashionable or good looking or whatever but they just have their own you know issue and insecurity they feel that you are out of their league and that they have to do so much more more and more and more just to gain your attention it's very hard for this person to feel like they are enough in doing whatever it is that they're doing in their life i count each day and night until i can see you again my love they really miss you they want to hang out with you they really want to express all of these feelings even all of their insecurities towards you and they really really wish that the moment that you can meet again that you can hang out with this person would be a moment of a heart and a heart to heart type of conversation oh yeah look at that see i really miss you so so much but i'm scared they have insecurities here they, they they're working on their confidence but their anxiety and their insecurity it's been caused by their childhood you know situation which is kind of sad i feel that for some of them they experienced some type of abuse or manipulation long ago either it's from family or friends from childhood time and it's kind of taking roots within them so i feel that for a lot of you your purpose here in this connection with this person has a lot to do with teaching each other learning from each other and definitely healing as well wow this person wants to do bdsm with you or bondage they want to do something kinky and definitely really hot and sexual towards you i definitely believe this person masturbates at the thought of you like nighttime they would like they would just fantasize a lot about you at nighttime they would masturbate or jack off at the thought of you or maybe if you ever send nudes to each other they're definitely <laughs> looking at your nude pictures and really getting hot there you know under their blanket 
So maybe you are into BDSM and you told this person that, hey, I'm really into BDSM and they want to give it a try or vice versa. Then again, this is like the fantasies, what they want to do to you, what they want to experience with you. And I do think that if this person ever takes on a date, that it takes you on a date, they would want to set up really good movie night, dinner night, whatever. And at the very bottom of their list is definitely a really good as fuck hot kinky sex with you, definitely. And again, one of the reasons why they wanna build their financial situation, it's because they wanna make sure that they can take you out on a nice hotel or a nice apartment wherever they just want to make everything special and perfect for you this person is a perfectionist let me tell you that is why they can be a little bit stubborn oh my gosh i am basically attacking myself because i'm a virgo i'm a perfectionist and i can be stubborn at times as well but hey so ah like i said with this very first card right here that says you're my soulmate here we go we have the message I think that we are meant to be together in this lifetime. This person feels this way and I feel, I, I, I see that at one point they would actually want to tell you, like literally face to face tell you that they feel that we are meant to be together in this lifetime and they really want to make this relationship work. So this person asks you, tell me that you love me. Like, so do you love this person? They definitely want you to tell them that. Last one. Oh, there you go. I want to confess to you like what I was just talking about, right? I keep mentioning this person wants to confess to you. They want to show you who they really are as a person, what they can offer and how they really truly feel about you and not being stubborn because in the beginning this person might be in denial about how they really feel towards you this is a person that wants control and when they meet you and they fall for you they feel that they are losing control over their life because uh, <clears throat> because the oh my throat just got dry yeah the, the moment this person know you they feel like their world is upside down like a lot of amazing new things happen and it's just very hard for them to confess because you are just too gorgeous too good to be true for them and that is basically hitting their pride or their ego and they don't know what to do about it they're just shook basically <laughs> so i'm using in the tarot now to get more guidance for you no, I don't want to take that many cards. Just three cards would be enough, spirits. Just three cards. Oh my gosh. This person definitely have a lot to say to you about how deep they feel for you. They really want to take you out on a date. They might as well be romantic or try to be romantic in their really funny, adorable way. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, there you go. The Knight of Chalices. They want to come forward to you with their offer of love, with their emotion, with their expression. The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So before they reach out to you, they realize that, wait, 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 just a little bit more. I need to step up my game. This can again be about their financial situation because they are already planning something. I do feel this person is planning for a really nice romantic dinner date with you and the hangman remember when i said that this person was in denial about their feelings before and now they are starting to realize it and accept it this is what's going through this person mind and heart right now so that's what you can know about this person so far and yeah, I do think that you are going to meet this person again or talk to this person because they definitely want to move forward with you and confess to you and ask you out on a date. So last but not least, I am going to use this. Oh, by the way, the way that I'm going to read this is that this rose quartz crystal would be representing your person. 
these three dark shades of lapis lazuli to represent anything of the darker aspect of that person could be insecurity secrets hidden truth mysteries anything and this is about their open honest uh, communication or anything that they would like to express to you okay so I'm just going to shuffle in like so in my hand oh wow so one of this dark shade of lapis lazuli just like flew all the way almost to the edge of my table and that representing that person finally letting go of their fear finally working on their insecurity or any type of anxiety that they have like really working on it handling it really well but mostly they are letting their mask fall and letting go of that fear and that ego and of course their pride as well as you can see the closest stones here to your person is this beautiful bright shades of lapis lazuli which represents open honest communication and I do think that they are probably going to suddenly, surprisingly, be very straightforward towards you about how they feel. And they really want to let go of anything that's been blocking them, that's been holding them back. As you can see here, this uh, you know stone that represents insecurity or darkness or mystery is very far off into the distance. So I do see that they are going to take a step by step towards you though. They don't want to like overly rush things, but they definitely want to take the necessary step by step like this, like one, two, three, right? The proper step by step. As this person is opening up their dark side, they will eventually communicate properly with you. So I feel this is going to happen pretty soon enough though. Again, remember this is timeless. Whenever you are watching, it's still relevant. But I am getting sometime around seven to nine days. The next seven to nine days, this person might come up to you and communicate, which is not that long, right? It's about a week. So that is your reading. I hope it resonates. Let me know down below in the comments and I will be back. Okay, so the very last flower. Let's take a look. What messages does your specific person have to say to you? Or this can also be about their energy. This can be about their mind, their feelings, what they want to do to you, what they want to do for you. It can be literally anything and everything, okay? As I am shuffling this also, just focus on your person. If you don't have anyone specific, you can just focus on the question, what messages, guidance, or whatever information that I need to know about my soulmate or twin flame, okay? Just focus on the question at hand. So if you, if you have a specific person, then yeah, just obviously think about them, focus on them. So for the last flower, what messages about their special person or soulmate or twin flame? What is going on with their person? They definitely want to fuck you. <laughs> I'm already immediately getting the energy. They really want to have sex with you. But they want to, you know, they don't want to just fuck you. They want to make love with you. That's what I'm sensing. For, for others of you, this person might want to propose to you for marriage. Or if you are not in a relationship yet, that they then they want to go steady or they want to go exclusive with you. They really want to have you all to their themselves. And I'm also sensing that some people around are watching over this connection or just sticking their nose into y'all business. This can be your own friends or their friends. That's what I'm getting so far. This person, for some of you, this person has been asking other people to spy on you. Like they want to gain more information or any type of knowledge or understanding about you through other people. This can be through social media, through the internet, through your friends of their friends. It, basically just anyone that you both know each other with. 
Okay, I'm sensing that that is enough of this tiny notes. So we have your higher self is calling you now on your soul's mission. So the type of connection that you have with this person, it really triggered their spiritual awakening, I feel like. And this, for some of you, this is definitely a soulmate connection. Uh, sorry, no, a twin flame connection. Well, I mean, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I mean, yeah, soulmate or twin flame, whatever label you want to use. But this is a very spiritual connection. It has a lot of lesson here, a lot of purpose as well. There's definitely purpose in this connection. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> I don't know why I just had, I almost <coughs> uh, cough or like having a, <coughs> a hiccup. This, this person, Okay, let me take a drink. Oh, I feel like this person have a lot of crazy things that they want to tell you or they want to do to you as well. But they don't know how to properly communicate that. And what I'm also getting is that your person, hmm, they might as well do some type of love spell <laughs> to attract you or any type of law of attraction practice. And other than that, this person, ah, they want to know who your ex or exes were. They definitely want to know. So they have been spying on you. You should pay close attention. Notice the signs. So I feel like this is actually a message from your spirit guides, like you, my dear viewers. This is a message from your own higher self, from your own spirit guides. That they really want you to see the, the, the signs. I, I feel like for some of you, there were red flags actually. Some warning signs that you need to be aware about this person. I feel that for at least 30% of you, if you are asking about a specific person, they are toxic. They're not good. They're not a good person. Even if they love you, but they're just not good for you. They're not meant for you. They have a lot of heavy things going on or maybe karma or whatever that is just not going to go well with you, okay? But that is, I, I feel it's for only about 30% of you who's watching. 70% others of you, this is a connection whether you want to call it soulmate or twin flame that definitely has a purpose I want you to want me and I need you to need me Wow the very same notes that keep popping up for the other flowers as well I don't like it if you flirt around and will you go out with me Wow this person they're definitely watching you like either they use their friends to watch over you or to spy on you this is crazy because this whole similar message it's been popping up recently over and over again even with the other previous flowers there's always this bit of similar message it's almost like it's the kind of main theme of today's entire reading is that whoever you're asking about, if they are definitely aware of your presence, either you know them or not, which I know can be a little bit creepy. So this can be a secret admirer, but for the majority of you, I sense that this is somebody that you know and they are definitely spying over you, whether in real life or through social media and other people as well. Listen to your own intuition and follow your passion. So my dear viewers, your higher self wants you to focus more on yourself right now because I see that for quite a lot of you, you are asking about a crush situation or an ex. The point is somebody that you already have connection with, somebody that you already knew for quite some time already and that you already hang out, you already talk a lot with this person. 
and if so if you really really curious to you want to know about what's going on with this person your uh, your spirit guides and higher self just want you to focus more on your passion right now and also you really really need to your to listen to your own intuition for some of you you may as well be a witch or or you are a spiritual practitioner you can say and you have a very keen and super sharp intuition that you just know things i think it's called claire cognizance i think it's called that but you just know things even without you seeing it or hearing it you just know things so this could mean that maybe deep down you know oh this person is doing this in the back or this person is talking about me to this very specific friend for example that is not just weird crazy things hallucination or whatever that is your intuition saying so this reading is also part of a confirmation from spirits to you that you really need to believe in your situ uh, in your intuition about your situation with this person and see this person really wants to talk to you but they just can't so this note it says i have been writing messages that i ended up deleting over and over again so this is exactly what i was feeling with my throat with the cough and the hiccup that i had before and i just felt so dry and thirsty this person just th this whole theme this theme for this whole reading is always about this person wanting to talk to you, wanting to give you a message, chat with you, whatever, but they are scared or hesitant for whatever reason. I want to fuck you so badly. What I was just saying in the very beginning of this reading, this person definitely wants to make love to you. They want to have sex with you. The, the sexual chemistry and attraction is definitely there. I wish upon a star to have you in my life. I remember every word you have said. Don't you forget about me, please? So I think that you are the one who cut this person off from your life recently for whatever reason could be maybe some behavior or some attitude, you know, and you were like, oh, I'm not dealing with that shit. And then you cut this person off. Maybe you block them or maybe you're just not seeing them anymore. And they're still trying to reach out to you through other people or spying you on social media, basically just trying to gain your attention. And then here we have, I am attracting you into my life, my beautiful soulmate. Wow, crazy. Remember that I did mention about this person possibly doing love attraction practice or love spell to attract you more into their life? Wow. They're really, really wanting you to be theirs. They're really wanting you to be present in their life. I think we are meant to be together in this lifetime. <laughs> my gosh this card yeah i do stalk your social media but i ain't ever admitting that this card came up for all of the entire flowers <laughs> i guess today's theme reading is about somebody being so in love with you crushing over you stalking or spying you over social media or other people because they're still dealing with their own communication issue and they want to confess but they don't really know how i don't trust my friends right now i don't trust anyone hmm this can be you or this can be that person as well oh okay so there is a very specific message according from this note right here some of their friends are actually attracted to you as well this is crazy this is quite a drama so like this person this person knows that some of their own friends like you as well they are attracted to you as well and they probably want to win you over this person it's almost like a competition here this is crazy that is that is such a toxic drama, but I'm seeing that can be a specific situation here. And then here we have, we are your spirit guides wanting to connect and work with you. See, like I said, your connection with this person has a lot of purpose. And so 
this whole situation is definitely being watched over by your spirit guides and their spirit guides as well last one we have is i hate seeing others being too close to you or flirt with you so if you often go somewhere to a place that this person often goes or maybe you still hang out with this person with a group of friends you still talk to this person in some type of ways they know that other people are trying to flirt with you like even their own friends trying to flirt with you and that oh my gosh that really bothers the hell out of them so they want to tell you this that they want to trust you more and for some they even want to say that hey i don't really trust my friends right now i'm see i i saw that they're flirting with you like what the hell was that you know so let's just take a look at more message here now we're using the tarot and i want to pull out just three cards three card for the last flower please this person wants to marry you they either okay so if you are in a relationship already then they might want to propose to you or they want to talk about marriage with you if you're not in a relationship yet let's say you are in a situation with a crush they are already fantasizing about marrying you or building a house or a family with you and traveling around the world with you they're like that obsessed <laughs> about you so we have three cards the first one oh my gosh the world the freaking world like i said you are the world to them they want everything with you they want to build things with you they want to attract you into their life into their world and they just want to have everything with you 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 are this just beautiful gorgeous person that they feel could be out of their league sometimes but they really 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 like you like you're everything to them. You are like the whole package to them. Your physical appearance, sexual chemistry, hobby, interest, everything, like literally everything. Here we have is the Knight of Wands in reverse. So they have really, really strong sexual attraction towards you, but they have been trying to hold themselves back because they know once they let it out like oh damn they be riding you like this wild horse right here <laughs> but they definitely want to come forward with you uh, towards you and move forward with you in this relationship or situation when the time is right because i feel that right now they are really you know basically mustering up all the courage all the confidence that they can have to come forward to you because they know that you can be a very strict or picky person and they just want to do their best you know last one the king of pentacles they want to show off to you how good they can be they want to win you over they definitely want to really really impress you so for a lot of you i feel right now this person is planning things ahead so that they can do their best to impress you and win you over that win your heart but not to worry this person is not going to treat you like a trophy okay they really do highly respect you they they just feel that you are a high class a high quality a unique different type of person that they want to do everything that they can in their creative ways to win you over to gain your attention because they know that you are not easy to impress so last but not least i want to do something completely different and fun and to further read into your energy i mean into their energy using crystal so this would be representing your person this dark shades of lapis lazuli would represent their darker side like mysteries hidden truth anxiety insecurities anything at all and this light shade of lapis lazuli would represent their straightforward honest open clear communication or whatever it is that they want to say and express to you so i'm going to shuffle in my hands and somehow for this one last pile or i would say last flower i want to count to nine one two three four five six seven eight nine oh my gosh okay 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 oh my gosh <laughs> 
So we have these two crystals right here that just flew all the way there to the other side of the table. This person wants to... Oh, okay, I'm getting it. I am getting it. So when the right moment comes that this person would co co not confront you, confess to you and talk to you and really, really open up to you about how they really feel or what's been happening in their life, like anything personal, okay. The moment <clears throat> that they are going to do that, they are going to literally pour out everything like pour out everything because all of this time they have been really really holding themselves back trying to control themselves trying to keep themselves in check but the moment that they have that intimacy with you they cannot help it and everything just brrr, like tsunami like a flood like a crazy volcanic eruption of emotions and sexual chemistry so for some of you i am seeing a very specific scenario here it's going to happen sometime later after date for example and then you are having sex with this person that is going to be the trigger that is actually going to be the trigger of that person opening up to you and have a very deep heartfelt conversation it's going to happen after you uh, get intimate with this person and you will really really know you will feel it that this person is not a player they're not playing games they're not fucking around because the way that they have sex with you it's not fuck but it's making love you will see it you will feel it okay it's just just very different that is what i am seeing so far and this person wants to give you commitment definitely they want commitment they want union with you even though they are still dealing with a lot of their fear of their own ego as well but they are definitely going through a lot of spiritual awakening and healing as well and i do feel that they are very much ready right now they're already taking the next step to move forward towards you so whether you are waiting something for valentine's day or again whenever you are watching this video i am sensing just a few days like actually just a few days later this person is going to contact you in whatever ways and how is it going to happen this is going to happen in a casual like date hangout first and then eventually it's going to go to that hook up type of date <laughs> so that is your reading i hope it brings you a lot of clarity and it resonates well let me know down below in the comments and i will be back